Real. Real. Yeah. Street. Ice. Money. Huh? Icy. Huh? Money. Huh? Ice. Huh? What you like, son? Ice. What you like, son? What you like, son? Yeah. I love that ice. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Erica. Please hit that subscribe and like button below. And today's video will just be a quick get to know me tag. I'll be answering the questions on my iPad since I'm recording on my phone. So let's get right into this. First question, what is your middle name? So my middle name is Sylvia, S-Y-L-V-I-A. And um, that is actually my grandmother's name, which is my dad's mother. Also, I'm named after my dad. His name is Eric. So I feel like I have a pretty, you know, a nice little name because uh, my full name is just, it fits so well. Like it, it just, it looked like me, you know, but I love my name. Like I used to think it was weird because growing up, people would tease me about my last name. So my last name is Choice. Who has that name? I don't know. But um, growing up, people would always say, oh, you have the right choice, blah, 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 all that lame stuff. Okay, now that I'm older, don't nobody do that to me anymore, which is a good thing. Next question, how tall are you? I'm 5'2", and I weigh 115 pounds. And last year, I actually lost probably like 25 pounds um i was overweight for my height i was probably 137 maybe and i decided to lose weight because like i remember one day i was at school and i was going up some stairs and i was out of breath you know so i knew right then and there it was time for a change because I know um, a lot of like my friends and like people who I went to college with, they'll be like, oh, Erica, how did you lose all that weight? So that's, you know, I, I did cardio, mainly cardio. I actually just started lifting um, weights and I actually been buying like a lot of dumbbells and stuff too, just trying to increase um, my strength, especially in my left arm. It's very, you know, weak is it's my non-dominant arm but um yeah that's pretty much it cardio is definitely a great way to shed some pounds really fast okay next question oh i get this question a lot why did you start making wigs so i started making wigs because i had a really bad hair experience with a well-known hairstylist in my city and it left me really disappointed. I had wanted her to do my hair for years. Like I had watched her work for probably like two years. And then when I finally got my appointment with her, I was so excited. And then when I got there, I was treated really badly. So that's what led to me to do my own hair. And I actually been knew how to do hair. Like in 2017, I would um, stay up late at night, you know, make wigs, like U-part wigs because I had perms then. Um, but um, I had really cheap um, wig equipment. So that led to my wigs not coming out um, right. But now that I'm a little older, I'm able to um, afford better products and also i was able to buy better wig equipment which i'm very blessed and grateful because that stuff is not cheap at all you know it can be really pricey but um i do plan on making a story time on that hair experience but like i can go on and on about it i will say this this is like a really big issue of mine that i will speak on um, in my city, a lot of people, they support popular, you hear what I said? Popular Get sick with us. individuals when it comes to hair, um, clothes, nails, you know, and so on. And I don't like that because there are a lot of talented people in this city and I feel like 
the people who are very nice and kind and professional don't get the credit that they deserve over the ones who, you know, their work is good, but sometimes, you know, the work is trash. And I just feel like a lot of people, they support the wrong individuals. And I really wish people would stop doing that. But, you know, um, I understand, you know, you can't control people, but I just really wish a lot of people would, you know, support the talented ones, you know. That's my big thing on that. Are you single? Yes, I am single. Um, I get that a lot on Instagram. Yes, I've been single for about two years now. Um, hopefully one day I'll meet somebody, but as for now, I'm not really worried about that. Anyway, next question. Do you sing in the shower? Sometimes, it just depends on how I'm feeling. You know, um, other than that, I just be chilling for real. Next question, what is your zodiac sign? So I'm a Scorpio. I was born on November the 10th and my dad, he's a Scorpio as well. He was born in October though. Um, like a lot of my friends, like they'd be like, y'all Scorpios are crazy. Y'all this, y'all that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not that crazy. Now, when I say crazy, like, I'm like, I'm like, mm, crazy fun. Like, you know, I, I just like to have fun. I'm not with all that. Oh, I'm gonna go slash your tires. I don't know, I don't do stuff like that. But if you piss me off, I would definitely advise you to run. Just, just run away, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, other than that, I'm a quiet individual. I stay to myself. I don't like to be in people's face. I don't like people to be in my face, you know. Um, I'm a little anti, I will say that, a little antisocial. But other than that, I just I just be chilling for real. Tea or coffee? I like both, but I have to be careful with coffee because I am lactose intolerant, so I have to be very careful with that. And me being who I am, I will still drink coffee, you know, white mocha, whatever. I will still drink it because I'm hard headed. But it, it, should, it just be so good. Cause I used to be a barista at Starbucks. So I know by all the little recipes, it, that stuff is really good, but it's very high in calories. Next question, what is your favorite drink? So my favorite drink, um, as for sodas, it will be Sprite. And maybe a little bit of Coke and a little bit of Orange Fanta. But um, as for as liquor wise, I love tequila. I love me some tequila, yes. It's so good to me, especially when um, it's mixed with something. Sometimes I would just drink it by itself yeah crazy my, my little crazy ways but it's so good i know a lot of my friends don't like tequila like a lot of people oh henny this henny that henny make me go to sleep so i'm good on it what kind of music do you listen to hmm. <laughs> i listen to trap music oh boy i love me some trap music love 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 me some trap music now sometimes i will listen to soft music like uh shanti the weekend i love the weekend so much but trap music all day every day i don't really like being my feelings that much when i do um i'm gonna listen to it in my uh headphones not like loud in my car but like some of my favorite rappers i love gucci i love nudie um I love Yo Gotti. Uh, I don't really have too many like I used to, but I really love Nudie though. Like, I really do. And then Gucci I always be my favorite rapper, like always. But um, I can listen to trap music all day. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Next question, did you like high school? No, I did not like high school. 
I did not take high school serious at all. I was a slacker, I was lazy. I didn't start doing my work until my senior year, which was too late. And um, yeah, I hated it, you know, I really hated it. Um, I was really good at earth science. Like I've always been good at science, history, but uh, I hated it, really did. I didn't start taking school serious until I got to community college and my university. And I feel like that happened because I knew I was paying out of pocket. So I'm like, okay, you know, I can't, I can't be playing around. But um, I really enjoyed my experience at my community college. Really grateful for that experience because I know some people will be like, oh, should I go to a community college or university? I would say community college because you'll be able to get your basics out the way and it'll be really cheaper, you know, really cheaper. And, you know, hopefully you'll be able to find a community college where they have dorms. Like at my school, they had dorms, so I stayed on campus. It was a really great experience. You know, I learned a lot and really grateful for that. Um, it actually uh, turned, you know, it helped me become a better person. And then when I uh, got to my university, I enjoyed my experience at my university as well. However, I did deal with some racism. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but I did. Um, besides that, that was pretty much it, you know they put a lot of work on us they really did but that comes with being a um plant well planning on being in a profession medical wise so you know i expected that now would i go there for grad school no mm -mm, mm -mm. i would like to go to the hbcu um i want a different college experience and i want to get away from home Oh, this is a really good question. Do you plan on staying in your hometown? No, I do not. Um, when I get my master's degree, I plan on moving far, far away. Um, the reason why I want to move is just so I'll be open to um, more opportunities as far as my career. Um, also, my major, well, I'm sorry, my degree is in um, speech and hearing sciences, which mean I will be a speech language pathologist. And I'm so grateful and blessed that I chose that field because I have such a, you know, wide uh, variety of places that I want to work or as far as like the settings wise, like I want to work in a hospital. Um, that's really something that I look forward to but I could have um I could have got a job this year in my bachelor's degree but I would have had to move and before I go off to grad school I want to um do something before I leave which I will most likely like make a video on that I'm not gonna really get into detail about that right now um but I just really want to make the money that I desire, make the money that I deserve because I worked my butt off in school and I'm not being greedy, but I feel like if, if I've went to school for, you know, so many years, I want to make the correct amount of money, you know, let's be real here. Um, you know, gotta pay student loans, but yes. Um, I do plan on moving and some places that I've been looking at um, is California, Texas, and Georgia. Now I've been, I plan on looking um, into like some more places, but I have my eye on those three for sure. Well, that concludes my get to know me tag. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you had a chance to learn some little facts about me. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel, like this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.